friends happy saturday i have all the lights in the world on in this car because it is a pitch blackout it is just before seven and i am at the grocery store i am going to quickly grab my groceries and then i'm heading to jazzercise this morning to get a bit of a workout in before i start my day so i will have a haul this week from fred meyer as well as trader joe's so i have quite the haul coming your way so if you want to see what i picked up for the week to stay on track with ww freestyle what i have on my plan for meal prep as well as my dinners throughout the week just stay tuned So here is my Trader Joe's haul, and then next I'll show you what I picked up from Fred Meyer. But I went there mainly for produce because I have a lot of clean eating produce recipes coming up this next week. So let me show you everything that I got at Trader Joe's. I had to pick up my traditional advent calendar, and these always sell out by the end of November. So I picked it up. I was just going to go into storage until December 1st, but these have really good little milk chocolates in them every day up until Christmas, so I had to pick that up. Lots of cabbage. I grabbed one bag of the organic shredded green and red cabbage with carrots. And then I grabbed two bags of just your regular green shredded cabbage. I need cabbage for three or four recipes this next week. So I really stocked up. I also needed some broccoli slaw. So this is the Trader Joe's organic broccoli slaw. Two packages of snow peas. I have two separate recipes that use snow peas. So I picked up two bags. I also grabbed some barista espresso because I just got a new espresso machine for home. You guys will see that in Sunday's video that will be up next Wednesday on what I eat Wednesday. So I had to pick up some coffee for that because I can't wait for my other coffee to come in. So I grabbed that, some shredded carrots for a recipe, celery hearts. I needed these for a recipe and then I was also thinking of having these with some laughing cow cheese and the everything but the bagels seasoning. So I picked this up at Trader Joe's as well. I thought that would be a really good combination for a snack. Two delicata squash. These are my favorite squash in the entire world. So I picked up two of those. A package of green onions for a recipe. I love the Trader Joe's turkey meatballs. These are fully cooked. They're super good super super low points this was the only bag they had or i probably would have grabbed two but this is for an upcoming instant pot recipe i can't wait to share that with you guys parmesan cheese i needed it for recipes and i was out while i was there i grabbed another bag of the trader joe's light shredded three cheese blend they just changed the packaging but the points and everything are exactly the same a sweet onion for a recipe a bag of four avocados. This is for my breakfast meal prep that you'll see on Monday. And lastly, I picked up a big container of blueberries. I got these a couple weeks ago and these blueberries were so good. So that's everything that I picked up for the week at Trader Joe's. And here is my grocery haul from Fred Meyer, which is a Kroger store. So I'll show you everything I picked up, even the non-food items. What is not shown is a case of water. I picked up a two pack of these handy foil pans with lids. They were on a great coupon and with holiday baking, storing all of the baked goods, this was a fantastic deal. So this is a two pack with two lids. I also picked up some new mouthwash, this Crest Scope, I had a coupon for that. And then of course some Tums. Now into food, I grabbed two dozen eggs. These eggs are for egg salad for my husband. That's what he decided that he wanted for lunches this next week. And then of course my happy eggs, which are my very favorite eggs. So I have those for myself for the week. I picked up a London broil. This is for an upcoming dinner recipe. It's fairly low points as far as red meat is concerned. So this was just about $10 on sale. So that's for an upcoming dinner recipe. Buttermilk bread, this is for my husband. I do like to show this though because we can certainly work regular size bread slices into our eating plan. So buttermilk bread, really excited about these. These were on a great coupon. This is the private selection wild caught Argentinian red shrimp. It is so true what it says right here that it is like a buttery lobster taste and texture. It really is the best shrimp ever. So because I had a coupon, I picked it up and I'm going to work it into a recipe next week. Saltines for soup. My husband's been eating a lot of chili and chicken noodle soup. So picked up some saltines for that. 
jasmine rice we were completely out and i've actually been really liking this brand of rice it is so good so i picked this up just to have on hand and then i believe we have a couple of recipes this next week that required some rice this was the free Friday download. This is the Idahoan Baby Reds mashed potatoes. I've actually heard that these are really, really good. So I picked these up to try them. I'll let you guys know what I thought, but I've heard from several Weight Watchers that they're pretty good points and that they are delicious. So I picked that up because it was, of course, free. And then I grabbed a couple of these mac and cheese cups for my husband. I probably won't eat these. It kind of just depends on the points, but I'm imagining that they're going to be fairly high but I did grab two of these fat free ready whip I ran out midweek and you guys know that that is a panic stricken moment for me so picked up some fat free ready whip I also got some fat free half and half this is for a recipe and then of course whatever's left over can just be used in my coffee cereal was 99 cents so I grabbed some cinnamon life I just got back from working out at jazzercise so I think I'm going to have a bowl of this for breakfast and then I grabbed a bag of the private selection petite purple potatoes I love these potatoes they're great to roast up in the oven or the air fryer lastly is a couple of veggies so I grabbed this Kroger Asian chopped salad kit it just sounded really really good and actually the calories and stuff aren't too bad on it so I'll put the points here on the screen for you guys of course and then a bag of frozen peas this is for an upcoming recipe so that is everything that i picked up besides the water at fred meyer so let's get into my meal plan and meal prep so let's get into this week's meal plan and what i am doing for meal prep this is my carryl meal planner i absolutely love this this is the large size eight and a half by 11. she does have some smaller ones she also has a digital version as well so i would recommend hopping over to her website checking it out i'll give you a 10 percent discount at the end here but this is what it looks like there are several tabs for you to use the first one is the resources this is where you can jot down your favorite meal planning blogs and recipe sites it's just a great resource for you to have on hand there's also the inventory section where you can inventory your freezer your pantry and you can also inventory your spices so a nice extra way to know kind of what you have on hand the meal plans tab will be coming back to that one the gatherings tab this comes in extremely handy this time of year as we are generally planning quite a few gatherings all the way from halloween through the new year so basically you are going to fill in the event fill in everything that you're going to be serving at the event including the kids and the supplies i love that and then there is a detachable grocery list as well for you to jot down what you need to pick up and take it with you to the grocery store so there are quite a few of these in the planner so you can host many events throughout the year and then lastly is the notes tab and that's where you can kind of jot down recipes what kind of whatever notes that you feel that you want to take and then in the very back there is this cute little two-sided pocket folder so just a really nice meal planner very comprehensive very very beautiful so let's visit the meal plans section first so let's go to the current month which is november so you can see here that i do jot down what i'm planning to make each night for dinner it helps me not only know that i have the supplies on hand whether or not i need to run to the store but it also allows me to see what meat i need and pull it out of the freezer so i always use the at a glance monthly planner and then each week you actually have a weekly planner skip ahead here there we go so you have a weekly menu so you can jot down what you're making for the week I generally only track dinner because I do meal prep breakfast and lunch so I don't have to track it here in the weekly menu and then of course my favorite part is the detachable grocery list so that you can take that with you to the grocery store this meal planner will last you over a year for the price it is a steal so what i do is you can see the grocery list of course is missing so this is the current week my week runs saturday through friday so this is saturday november 2nd through friday november 8th so saturday is the day that i use my weekly so generally i will go out to dinner tomorrow i'll be making sausage skillet dinner which i'm really excited about this this is a rollover from last week Monday is crock pot pizza casserole uh, yes please again another rollover from last week Tuesday is always leftovers because I go to jazzercise 
Wednesday, I'm gonna be making veggie fried rice. This is going to be in the Instant Pot, and I'm gonna pair that with some chicken. Thursday, in the Instant Pot, I'm really excited about this recipe. I'm gonna be making mac and cheese with meatballs, and we'll pair that with a vegetable. And then Friday, we're gonna do a low-carb sesame beef stir-fry with soy sauce. So my meals sound so good this week. On the back of the weekly menu is where I will plan for meal prep. So for breakfast this week, I'm gonna be prepping avocado breakfast sandwiches. Definitely stay tuned for this. You guys will see this in Meal Prep Monday. So excited for this recipe. Lunch will be chicken chow mein with egg rolls. I'm going to be giving you two recipes, one for the chow mein and one for the egg rolls. We're just gonna have a little Chinese food fun this next week. And then I'm really excited to be making a chewy peanut butter granola bar that is all natural ingredients, going to be absolutely delicious. So this is what is on the plan for meal prep, which again, you will see on Monday, meal prep Monday. So that's my meal plan and meal prep for the week. This of course is my Carriel meal planner. The 10% discount code is here on the screen for you. You can use that on any of the planners, including the digital version. So highly recommend this to have plan your meals and track your life. It really is a staple on WW. Thank you for joining me on this week's WW Grocery Haul. As you can see, I just came back from Jazzercise, so I'm a little sweaty, still in my workout clothes, but it was nice to get my grocery shopping in and then go work out after. So I'm excited for this week's meals. They all sound really good and meal prep. I've been craving Chinese food, so I am excited for a double dose of Chinese food that is WW friendly. And then of course those granola bars, it's nice sometimes to make your own rather than buying the processed ones in the store, which are generally higher points anyway. So I'm excited about everything for this upcoming week. Make sure you check out the Carriel Meal Planner and down in the description box is all of my discount codes and websites and staples on WW and of course my favorite things in my Amazon store. So make sure you check that out as well. So thank you so much for watching. If you're new, make sure that you subscribe. Hit that little bell so you're notified every time I upload. Thumbs up this one, it really does help out my channel and I really, really appreciate it. And of course, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you're most excited for on this week's meal plan. And if you made it to the end of this video, leave the gold star emoji as well. You can type it if you're on a lap or on a desktop. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.